This is Weasel News Special Report. Chuck Glarman on camera. Kit Parker, intern. Quinn Harrison, live reporter. And Robin LaShore, lead anchor. This is Robin LaShore with Weasel News. News you can be sure of. Trill City has experienced a lot of hail lately, but last night many of those in the city got to get a taste of heaven. Such a glorious event that occurred last night. Quinn? Thank you, Robin. Yes, the city was all abuzz in attendance for Trill City's first ever wedding. The ceremony was held at the beautiful St. Bridget Baptist Church in Palito Bay. The guests were all dressed in their finest, and everyone was so excited for the ceremony. I got a chance to speak with the groom, David Creo, and this is what he had to say. Uh, actually, surprisingly, we met because I ran into her car. Not, you know, I didn't mean it to be anything, just got a number at that time. We've been dating for quite a while. You know, I knew she was the one, so time really just flies by when I'm with her. One of our first dates, we went to a waterfall, because she loves waterfall for some reason. I was trying to hurt herself. So, uh, I went back to that waterfall, and I proposed to her with the, uh, with the ring that's very sentimental to her, and we're going to keep it that way. Uh, Blair, I love you. And I ain't going to lie, I'm really nervous. But I've been wanting and waiting to do this ever since I met you. Judge Jamal Langston was the officiant for tonight's events. And when asked how he felt about this being Trill City's very first wedding event, this is what he had to say. I think it's dope. I think, uh... Yeah, it's kit. Hopefully, you know, it, it inspires uh, a lot more people to, um, you know, exercise their faithful six, muscles two, eight. and tie the knot. Or to kick off marriage fever a little bit. And the attire for the wedding party was stunning. The bridesmaids wore black strapless cocktail length dresses with sequin detail on the heart-shaped bodice, and the groomsmen looked absolutely dapper in their all-black suits adorned with green bow ties. And even though it's not customary for people to wear white at someone else's wedding, there were a group of attendees that insisted their color was white, but refused to be identified. Due to some technical difficulties, the wedding was running on what folks were calling CP time, and people were getting a bit impatient, and at one point, a fight broke out in the sanctuary. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But once it started, everything turned out beautifully. In marriage, we say not only I love you today, but also I promise to love you tomorrow. I love how well you got along with my family and the stupid ass pranks, excuse me, in this church. The way you were fine with who I am and the people I deal with. I don't like talking about my feelings, but the butterflies you give me is way better adrenaline than when I rob a bank. Hypothetically. What? No get me started on that cute laugh and those hiccups that you can never get rid of, but I love them, especially when I'm the only person that can get rid of them for you. You never let me spoil you with money, so I praise that with love. When I look into your eyes, it somehow give me hope that an angel like you can save me. After the wedding, guests couldn't wait to party as they found themselves dancing in the parking lot. The reception was held at the beautiful Marlowe Vineyard. Here we were able to catch up with the bride and get her thoughts on the festivities this evening. How does it feel to be the first bride of Trill City? It feels really good. I'm happy. I'm very happy with Creo. I love the family and it was good. Like, I'm starting the trend where like now other people can get married and everything. And where are you guys going on your honeymoon? Um, we're actually going away on um, a beach house. He surprised me with it he knows I love the beach. Overall, Robin, Trill City's first wedding event was an absolute success. Some notable people to thank for tonight's events, Mr. Tachi Soto of Tachi Security Firm, who provided security for the event, Lincoln Davidson of Pillbox Medical for providing an on-site EMS service, Yasmin Cruz for her event planning services, and lastly, Jamal Langston for his officiating duties. Back to you, Robin. Thank you so much, Quinn Harrison, for that amazing coverage of the wedding. Thank you so much. Until next time, Trill City citizens, as usual, stay trill, no shade, all tea.